All right, so this is the VEX, um, kind of the belt gear or pulley system. Um, notice these right here, these move independently of these guys right here, and I can kind of show you a little bit better. So notice this drive shaft. I can move this without the drive shaft moving, okay? That doesn't really do us any good because we want to transfer that energy. So what we do, how at least I've solved the problem, is we've taken just a twist tie, we just kind of wedge it in there, and then snip it off, and then that allows it to move. So ideally, you'd want both of them to turn that drive shaft and turn with that drive shaft um, so you can transfer that energy. And so if you work with the VEX systems and you know a better way or a different way to use it, that's fine. Um, maybe leave a comment and let me know. So here I have a rubber band. If you use something else that's better, that's good too. Just let me know <laughs> what you use so maybe I can get my students using that. Rubber bands aren't always the best of ideas. So I'm going to go ahead. As you see, when I turn it, kind of like a chain gear, they're going to turn in the same direction, um, kind of working that way. Uh, the benefit of this system here is that if I don't want them to turn in the same direction, or maybe I want to go at a little bit of an angle, so I'm going to have multiple belt systems like you would in a car, um, or maybe I want them to run more than one thing. So in a car, you have it running um, the air conditioning and other units as well. So I can go ahead, if I want them to go different directions, they can go different directions. And so you can see right there, we have a nice little belt system I marked on there so you can see it go. I can go either direction there. So if you want them to go in the same way, don't cross the belt. If you want them going different directions, go ahead and cross that belt and that'll get you a different rotation right there. That is the belt gear, thank you.